In this part of the country, you never know where you're going to find a piece of history. Howard Schmolko is a furniture restorer from Pennsylvania. He made his discovery at a local antiques fair. I spotted an object that was very old looking. It was hidden underneath the table. And I thought, wow, this is too much. This is unbelievable. If this piece could speak, you know, what would it say? This trumpet, it says, was used, like, it's hard to read, in a, uh, the Revolutionary War. I'd love to know uh, what this piece is. Was this really used during the Revolutionary War? And who was Captain Lewis? I'd really like to know. Let's go see what we can find out. We used the latest scientific techniques to discover if this trumpet played a role in shaping the nation. But I'd never heard the name Captain Lewis or of a significant battle taking place between Fort Washington and West Point. I've come to the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. I know about the rogue alleys, but now I'm on a hunt for the man himself, Captain Lewis. There's got to be something here in these naval records that will tell me if a Lewis was on board one of these ships. Voila, I have Captain Abraham Lewis serving as captain on Lady Washington. I got him. I'm looking at a bound copy of the Collector, a historical uh, magazine. Even better than a mention, there are letters reprinted here that were written directly to Captain Lewis. This is a letter to Captain Abraham Lewis of Lady Washington Galley. Captain Lewis, get ready, the British are coming. But what about the trumpet itself? Is it really a speaking trumpet used in the Revolutionary War? I've arranged to meet with someone in Washington, D.C. who should know exactly what it is. Look at that. I mean, the mouthpiece is really the main uh, contact area to, the, from the player's performer's lips into the actual apparatus of the instrument itself. This mouthpiece is amazingly deep. What does any of this have to do with the Revolutionary War? OK, so what do we have here? The old metal goes down to here. Then you have and, and the new and old overlap in that area. Here you have only new metal. And here you have uh, new and old. Was this really used during the Revolutionary War? And we tracked down a long forgotten war hero. He was not famous. My influence shall endure forever. But Captain Lewis played his part in the struggle for American independence. We've got some good news to share with the trumpet's owner, Howard Schmolko. Captain Lewis did exist, and his name was Captain Abraham Lewis. Abraham you Lewis? You call, Abraham You call him Lewis. Abraham. He's, it's very likely that Captain Lewis used this speaking trumpet to give the order to fire during the Revolutionary War. It must have been through an awful lot, just like Captain Lewis went through an awful lot. We've brought Howard's trumpet back to the exact spot on the Hudson. Captain Lewis took his boat, collected everybody, uh, all the other seamen and everybody else, and protected them from getting captured by the British and took them upstream. Right here. Wow. Right here. Right where we stand. So he, right right. he would have used this I mean, to this give his exact, orders and commands. This is the exact trumpet he would have used. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm holding it. Pull up there! You ready? Gun seven, fire! I spotted an object that was very old looking. You saw what I wanted you to see. It was hidden underneath the table. I am very old, you see. And clever. And time has been on my side. And I have made it so. I exist and will exist. Eternal life. The devil himself breathed upon my chilled cheek and gave me eternal life. Oh, my great hallucinatory powers, they actually exist again. Marvelous. In the beginning was Lucifer, Beelzebub, old Nick himself. And in the end shall be old Nick and me. I am very old, and yet. 
I remain young. All the glory when you ran outside with your shirt tucked in and your shoes untied, and you told.